Hello, 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 my lovely friends. Thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. Today's Pick a Card Tarot Love Reading. We are going over how is your person thinking and feeling about you? Um, what's going on? Those kinds of things. Anything you need to know about the connection? So I have three piles for you guys today. Pile one, we have this beautiful orange calcite. Kind of looks like an orange creamsicle heart here. We're using the Dream Keepers Tarot for pile one. Pile two, we have the Golden Obsidian Heart and the Line Striders Tarot. Let me see the back. Line Striders Tarot. And pile three, we have a really cool piece of Septarian and the Haunted House Tarot. So take a deep breath and go with whichever pile you're drawn to the most. If you're drawn to more than one, you may just have messages in that, another pile that you need to hear. If you want to watch different piles for different people, totally fine. Always remember this is a general reading, so you have to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Tap into your own discernment and, and uh, intuition to let you know if a message within the reading is for you or if it's not. Um, if something's not fitting, don't try to force it if it's making you feel confused. Uh, just let that go and respect that that part of the reading was for somebody else. So um, again, we have pile one, pile two, pile three. I'll leave these up for a moment. Um, feel free to pause the screen if you need more time. The timestamps will be in the description box below and they'll take you right to your spot in the reading. Right after the intro, I will um, have a little segment about my personal offerings for those of you um, that are interested in becoming clients, um, just kind of what I offer there. Um, and then I will see you at your pile. So I'll leave these up and um, yeah, see you there. Hey guys, this is a little brief snapshot um, of the services I offer for those who are interested. I of course do tarot readings. Um, mainly most of my tarot readings I do uh, record it very much like this scenario, like you'd watch a, um, a reading on YouTube, but it'll be a personalized reading just for you with a, a private link that no one else will have. Um, but I can do that off of questions with um, you know, some a little bit of information, depending on what you're comfortable sharing. Um, those can be booked either snip feed or just through me uh, personally on um, through my email at a journey and light dot, uh, at gmail.com. Um, so I have a whole bunch of different um, options, you know, one question, two questions, three to four questions. I can do a year ahead um, question or reading. Um, if you're interested in any of that, just shoot me an email and I'll send you the whole little breakdown of everything I have to offer. I do live Zoom call readings, like one-on-one -on -one readings on Tuesdays. Um, you can find that availability through SnipFeed. Um, it's just easier to book through there because my, my calendar and everything, it just, it syncs all up. So um, on Tuesdays, and then I also offer dynamic energy healing, which is kind of like a distance Reiki healing uh, for those interested in getting some, if you've had stagnant, energy in your life, if you haven't been feeling your best, if you're, you just feel like things are off, if you're needing some messages, things like that. Um, I do a dynamic energy healing, again, very similar to a distance Reiki, like there's Reiki. I just do a bunch of different um, spiritual modalities that I've kind of morphed into one service. Um, <clears throat> uh, so it's, uh, it's definitely Reiki. I go through everyone's chakras. You'll get a detailed report via a, a video. Um, and pictures of the report. Um, but uh, it's it's Reiki, it's SRT, which is spirit release therapy, um, or some sections of that, as well as some other shamanic um, energetic uh, healings, um, all done with my guides and uh, divine energy and stuff like that. So um, I've been doing those for a little while now and I've gotten amazing feedback. It's been really fun. Um, if you if you need some things to change in your life, <laughs> I've heard some just interesting stories from, from clients that have done it and things that have shifted and 
um, it, it's, it's, it's been really cool. So if you're interested in that, just shoot me an email again, a journey in light at gmail.com. And those are my services guys. So I'll see you in your reading. Bye. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile one. You guys pick the orange calcite, AKA the cream sickle heart here. And we are going over how is your person, how the person on your mind is thinking and feeling about you, the connection and anything else my guides want to throw in there. You guys know that I'll share. Um, if you're returning, welcome. Don't forget to give me a like because you know you like my stuff. Uh, if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you get some insight uh, to uh, what's going on with this person. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you a part of this little family here. So, okay, <clears throat> let's see. Pile one's person, how are they thinking and feeling? So we start off your reading with a two of wands. We have a page of wands. So there's some fiery energy coming in. We could have some fire signs as fire uh, or wands and um, goodness gracious, I can't talk. Wands represent uh, our passions, our creativity. So uh, there could be a lot of passion uh, that this person feels for you right off the bat. Here, um, oh, there's so much cool stuff in this imagery. I can't wait to really get into this. Okay, ooh, then we have the Five of Wands. This person may need, may feel like they need to fight for your attention at times. Three of Wands, okay. <laughs> there is so much fire, there's so much passion, there's so much of this person trying to figure out their next steps. What's the next thing that's gonna go? Where are they gonna take this? Um, three of Wands, okay, what do we have next? Nine of Cups, okay, pile one. Your person is feeling very passionate towards you. Again, even like, I'm willing to fight for this person kind of vibe. Um, we have a Nine of Cups here, which is that wish fulfillment card. It's like, this person checks off all my boxes. Check, 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 check. So uh, there's a lot of really good vibes so far. We're going to clarify all this, but so far, so good. I mean, I think some of you guys already knew that. Let's see what else is going on. We got the Six of Wands. We got a King of Cups. Well, hot damn, guys. All right. We have the Four of Wands. Judgment. Scorpio-esque energy. It's not necessarily a Scorpio card, but it's that resurrection kind of energy. We have the devil, so Capricorn showing up. You might be tempting to this person in such a way that it feels like almost wrong how this is coming up. And then overall energy page of pentacles. So this person definitely wants to offer you something, wants to give you something. Some of you, depending on your relationship, this may be a one-off. Somebody may feel the need to owe the other person an apology for something. Um, so, wow, 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 okay. Two of Wands clarified by our Six of Wands. We have this energy of figuring out my next step. What am I going to do? Uh, how how do I how do I do this? But I want this to be successful. Um, they also see you as successful. They see you as abundant. We have this woman eating the grapes. Grapes represent abundance as well. Um, they see that like almost like. <sighs> This person's just really attracted to you. I need to like definitely emphasize this, but there's also this feeling of this person, there's there's a fear here how attracted and how drawn they are to you. This person feels like magnetized to you, but almost like you could devour them or eat them up uh, is kind of how this is coming in. It's like, almost like if you touch me, I would just burn up kind of vibe here. Um, but uh, so this person's trying to figure out their next steps. Uh, what they want to do again depending on where you are in your connection with this person this could be like how to even talk to you if it's very soon this could be how to take things to the next level those are things of that nature so we have the page of wands which so this person is definitely extremely attracted they want to explain that they could be kind of flirty they could feel more comfortable being kind of funny or flirty versus revealing the, their true heart right away so with the king of cups being here now just to explain how I read, this is kind of how someone's presenting. This is like the under, under the surface kind of energy or their feelings, you know, kind of vibe. Um, so 
below this kind of flirty exterior this person has for you, like playful texts, that kind of thing, this person actually is very, very kind-hearted. This person has very, very deep feelings here or the potential for deep feelings. This is someone that may have worn their heart on their sleeve at a certain point in their life and because things that have happened, they may hold that back. Because again, this is like under the surface. So they're not quite ready to show that to you fully, but there's definitely so much potential here. Um, some of them may, again, depending on your, your connection. For some of you, I feel like this is a newer connection. So that's why I keep like tipping back around the, the potential of this. Um, but that's not true for everybody. There could be a musical connection. I love the fact that this, this woman, she's holding like, um, a record and then the record needle here. Um, I'm sure there's an exact word for that, but, um, so there could be a musical connection between the two of you. Um, this person could hear music every time they see you, or there could be songs that make them think of you. But this person, like, I, I feel like that might not be something that you really know about them just yet is how deep this person really is and how emotionally vast, I guess is the word I'm trying to say. Like there's a vastness to the, the potential that this person has, but, um, there is, there is a fear with this person about, again, like you could just eat them up or you could, they could, they could get really hurt by you. Um, so with the five of wands clarified by our four of wands. So the five of wands is kind of this energy of competition. Um, you know, it's a, it's a challenging kind of energy. So you could have lots of suitors. This person could feel like they have to, you know, fight everybody off. We have this person's head on the ground. So it's like off with their head. Ooh, as I completely me talking with my hands, shook everybody up. You shake their, their world up for sure. Okay. But, um, it could be like off with their head. So they could have a tendency to be a little possessive, especially it is clarified by the four of wands, which is like wanting foundation, wanting stability. Um, so if this relationship is kind of up in the air for them, they're, they're really kind of fighting to want to kind of solidify this and, and to make this a real, a real thing. I feel like this person does, I know I'm jumping around. This person wants to give you some gifts. They want to honor you with something actual tangible. Um, I feel like that, yeah, this person is way sweeter than they come across at times. It's like almost hopeless romantic kind of energy here, but I think that they've definitely been burned in the past in relationships. So they also, if they're not fighting with someone else for your attention, they could be fighting with themselves not to fall too fast uh, with this. Um, we have the three of cups. So some of you guys could have already been friends. Uh, you could know each other through friends or some sort of mutual kind of vibe there. Um, maybe this person will approach you and try to just be friends with you first, that kind of thing. The three of cups can also represent some sort of third party for some of you. So I'll give a nod to that. Um, but yeah. All right, back to the, <laughs> the center part. So the three of wands clarified by the judgment card. This person because of recent events, there could have been some sort of wake-up call around either what steps they want to take. Maybe you guys have had some sort of conversation. So they're like, okay, well, let me figure out how how to approach this in a different way or approach this further. Um, there also could be for some of you, you've kind of come in and shaken this person's world up. Uh, you've made them think about their future in a different way. Um, you kind of help them see that they can have love again. They can't, things can be resurrected. Uh, if some of you had a relationship in the past with this person, there could be some sort of the, the judgment here. This can also be like a reconciliation energy for some of you. So there's this vibe of coming back around, but um, this newness, this resurrection of this. So maybe they've had a crush on you for a long time and now it's kind of like they're getting to do something about it. It's like, oh, okay. You know, and so they're trying to, I feel like this person doesn't want to mess things up with you, but they're, they're trying to be very strategic on how they move forward. They may overthink that at times as well. So with the, with the nine of cups, Again, like I was saying, you check off all this person's boxes, but it there is some fear here. I think, again, I think this person falls kind of hard in relationships. So if that is the case, they may at time pull back uh, because of fear. I think we've all done that at certain points in our lives, you know. Um, but it's it's more of a feeling like almost like you're addictive. <laughs> um, you're intoxicating to this person. They find you extremely interesting, like maybe more interesting than you give yourself credit for. 
Um, in this picture, it looks like there's a keyhole and some of this wine is like pouring into that. It's like almost like there's, there's so much to you and maybe they see the depth in you and they know that they have the depth in them. And so it's something that they're interested in getting to, to know more of. All right, let me pull some Oracle cards to get us some more information. Ooh, how else is this person thinking and feeling? What does the viewer need to know? Alive. May you delight in vitality. So you make this person feel alive. Again, with the judgment card, this person may have given up on love. They may have thought, you know, maybe they, they've been really hurt in the past with relationships. So again, this person is very, has a big heart. If you haven't seen that, they're extremely guarded then because then they've been really hurt. It's almost like this girl, she's got like some sort of, looks almost like veins ripped out, um, which is kind of graphic, but uh, um, it's like this person's had their heart ripped out of their chest. And even like this devil card, I can't quite tell what he's holding, but it almost looks like he's holding a heart here. So this person does recognize that their tendency to fall hard and fast for people, especially someone like you, has that potential to get their heart ripped out. Uh, so I think, I guess what Spirit wants you to know is this person is kind of scared too. Maybe you are, maybe there's a mirroring there, but ultimately you make this person feel alive. Like you've woken them back up like, oh, there is potential to, to be interested in someone again. Um, those kinds of things. Uh, if, even if they've been hurt in the past, it's like, huh, I, I think I'm ready to, to start again. And sometimes that could be, you know, a relationship with you, you know, they, you want, they want this to be alive. They want to make this, this work. Bliss, may you feel deeply and transcend. So you make this person feel blissful, there's just this like common denominator and I don't know if they've been able to put their finger on it, but it's like you guys, so many people in the world and this is no judgment on anyone because we're all here to do whatever, right? A lot of people tend to be a little less deep um, and that's okay. Uh, but then some of us are like an abyss, right? <laughs> it's just like, it's like some people swim in the shallow end and there's that's totally cool. And other people are like, literally like, uh, an endless, no bottom seed. It, it, it's an abyss. Hopefully you guys know what an abyss is. It's just like very, very deep. Um, it's like the, the shallow end versus just like hundreds of feet down in the ocean. And so they recognize that within you, like the depth of you. And that's so intriguing to this person. Cause I think in the past they've just met a lot of like more surface level, um, people, and it's like, wow, this person is, is deep. This person sees things that I see that I don't really see much in other people, you know? So you might not understand that this person sees all that in you. And you're like, I don't even know why they're that intrigued by me. But it's just like the depth of you is extremely intriguing and almost addictive. And they like can't quite not go after this or do something about this. We also have shine on the bottom. It's may you be like a lighthouse to some of you, maybe light workers. There's just something about you that shines, like your energy, your vibe just shines through. Um, all right, let's, let's get another card. This is the Enchanted Map Oracle. This was donated a long time ago to the channel um, by Gita over at, oh my goodness, why can't I think of the name of her channel? Um, she watches my stuff. She's probably like, it's this, Joy. Um, I might have to look this up in between videos. Um, it's like on the tip of my tongue. Anyways, Gita, thank you for, for this deck. But let's see. Spark. Yep, you've sparked. You've, well, you've ignited this person's. Yeah, you've sparked them up. You've lit them up. You've made them feel alive again. And then here we have more music again. So there could be some sort of musical connection. This person definitely has a big, big spark. I mean, look at all the wands. There's definitely a lot of just feeling the feels, um, feeling the vibe. All right, what else? The journal. So there could be a writer in this connection. One of you guys could be a writer. 
Um, this person could be very weary of saying the wrong thing or writing the wrong thing to you. They may overanalyze and take a while to respond to things at times because they want it to to be just right, especially if there's, you know, really something cool about you when it comes to written word. Others have used that this could, this person could want to write you some sort of love story. Um, there also could be a sense of some of you guys may have went to school together or studied with this person or studied the same subject for some reason that's coming up. Um, things of that nature. Number 26 may be important. I don't know why that's the only number I've been guided to point out. Um, so yeah, but journaling. Okay. Um, let's get some more insight into how this person's thinking and feeling or how this person's feeling towards pile one. I mean, I think we, we pretty much know, but I did pull this deck out to you. So here we go. Maybe some more insights to what's going on in this person's in their heart and in their head. Intimacy, closeness, sexuality, seclusion. So this person definitely wants to get to know you on, a, on an intimate level, or if you guys have already been there with all these wands, they definitely want to have an intimate interactions with you. Um, so we have better off, happiness, perspective, clear head. So this person is in a place where they are better off. Um, maybe if you knew them from before or some scenario with them before, they're in a better place because, you know, better off seems like better off without you, but it doesn't say that in this card, but it says happiness, perspective, and clear head. So this person is coming into this connection, depending on, again, where you're at, um, with a clearer head and, and wanting and a better perspective. Avoiding, blocking, escaping, pushing away. So, you know, where I was talking about this person feeling like you could eat them up, you could devour them, there may be points where they do avoid this. This also feels like maybe some of you could be pushing this person away, blocking them, you know, maybe a little nervous or timid uh, by this person, but um, there could, so I'm not sure what side this is on. It could be both of you guys. You could have tendencies to, to get together and get scared, but there is some blocking, escaping, pushing away here as well. Um, I don't get the vibe that this person is, maybe some of you guys may have blocked this person. If this person is blocking you and you're watching a reading and you're like, oh, this is not how this person's showing up, but she's saying all these wonderful things, please take the blocking seriously. That's all I have to say. Um, moving on from that thought, uh, Anyways, um, we also have lust on the bottom. So intensity, sexual energy. This person is definitely extremely attracted to you. Like there's there's no shortage there at all. Um, all right, I'm gonna move on to song cards. And these were mostly um, suggested by viewers, which I love when you guys do that. Um, with the song cards, uh, you don't have to look up all of them. Pick one of them. Maybe some of them will mean something to you in your relationship. Rock on. That's awesome. Um, if not, just pick one of them and look up the lyrics. There'll be a message for you within the lyrics or listen to the song. Maybe learn, learn some new music if you don't know it. Okay, so we have By Your Side by Sade. Run to the Sun, N-E-R-D. All right, I have like seven fall. We're not going to take any of those. Run to the Sun by NERD. I'll take this one, Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. And one more. I have one, one more song. Change by the Deftones. So those are your songs. If you feel, you know, some of those may relate to you or if they don't, pick one song, just deep breath, go with whichever song if you want to um, and look up the lyrics, there'll be a message. So let's see, which deck do I want to use? Sorry, I'm going to get message cards now. <laughs> I think I'm going to do some White Rose Guidance, some Lindsay's message decks. Love Lindsay's channel. Lindsay and I, I need to touch base with her. We talked about doing a collab this year, so we might be doing a collaboration. So I need to touch base with her. All right. Pile one, what does the person want to say? I've had sleepless nights caught between confusion and pain. Okay. 
you're the answer to my whole life. I've tried telling you the truth so many times, but I cannot for some reason. And I know you are my other half. Got some serious feelings here. All right, let's pull some more from this deck. What else does Pile One's person want to say? Your beauty and grace captivates me. Where do we go from here? I saw myself in you the first second I laid eyes on you. I want to create with you. Maybe you guys are both creative in some way. Artsy, artsy vibes here. I know that you know I'm hiding deep feelings for you and now I feel stuck. There's that, there's that king of cups. It's like, oh yes, I have a lot of big feelings here. Things aren't always as they seem. So there may be something in this connection that, you know, or something in another scenario that you think is one way, but is actually a little bit different. Uh, so keep that in mind. I think I'm gonna pull one more deck. Do this one. Okay, what else does Pile One's person wanna say? What do they want them to know? I psych myself out sometimes. Do you know how divine you are? Do you know how amazing you are? I'm in love with you. You are my other half. That's come up twice. This person definitely sees you as a soulmate, counterpart. Just a, you guys just fit. How do you need to be loved? How do you want to be loved? So this person also wants to know what you need in a connection. What do you need from them? Those kinds of things. So, so don't hesitate to be open and honest about what it is that you need. You are the prize, pile one. I need to remind you of that. Um, I've lost so many people in my life. And this person's been through the ringer. Maybe you have too. Maybe that's just something you don't realize. And then I'll show you my soul if you promise to be gentle. So there you go, pile one. There is your reading. What a lovely little reading here. I love this one a lot. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can email me at ajourneyinlight at gmail.com and I'll send you the info about that. And as always, I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. Don't forget to like, comment, even if it's just an emoji or share this with someone that you think would enjoy this type of reading. That really does help me out. Uh, thank you guys again for all your support. See you next time. Bye. Hello, 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 my lovely friends are Pile 2. You picked the Golden Obsidian heart here and we are going over how is your person currently thinking and feeling about you and the connection and anything else that wants to come out you guys if you've been here for a while you know you know that I'll share um, anything that comes up one-offs and all so please always remember this is a general reading so take what resonates leave what doesn't if it doesn't fit for your situation or makes you confused just let that part go it's not for you a lot of people watch these videos so, <clears throat> all right, pile two. How's pile two's person thinking and feeling about them, please? Pile two's person. We have a knight of wands. We have a knight of cups. So we got some passion and feelings coming in hot. <laughs> We have an eight of pentacles. Some of you may know this person at work. Some of your people may work in finance. Maybe you work in finance. Um, we got the devil Capricorn energy showing up. And the empress Leo Taurus. All right, let's clarify. Sorry for, there's a boob on there. I love this deck, but I forgot. Sometimes there's. I just don't want anybody to come at me for that. I don't even know if you guys can see that. And I put a woodpecker over hers. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Totally. I haven't used this deck forever, but I love it. But I just don't want anybody to censors to come at me. We have a queen of cups. Clarifying the knight of wands. King of wands. Ten of wands. Four of Pentacles. Okay, okay, Nine of Pentacles. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Queen of Cups. Four of Pentacles. 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 Four of P
Nine of Swords. This person definitely likes how you think. They like how your mind works. Um, some of them may want more clarity from you. It's either they feel like you're very clear or some of them may need some more clarity from you. Um, or want to like communicate with you, express some things, um, gain some clarity or give some clarity with this queen of wands, uh, with her being here, this is not going to be for everyone, but some of you may have cut this person off or there may have been some swift, um, ending for some of you. Uh, I do feel like this person doesn't want to give up this connection though, with this nine of wands right under that for that scenario. Anyway, that's a one-off. So, how is this person feeling? We have a Knight of Wands clarified by our Queen of Cups. It's interesting. We have Wands, Cups, Cups, Wands. So this person not only is very attracted to you, they have a lot of drive. They they feel drawn to you. They also have some feelings. You know, they, they have some feelings. Um, I think they keep their big feelings below the surface. They're, they're okay with sharing some of this. Some of them maybe, you know, say some sweet things. Uh, this is knight in shining armor kind of energy, but they are definitely coming in with this forceful energy behind it. There is a passion and a drive that this person feels towards you for sure. They definitely see your abundance here and your, 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 uh, your value with the, the eight of pentacles. But this also could be about someone that works a lot. It did get clarified by our Ten of Wands. So for some of you, you may be dealing with a workaholic that, or has someone that has a lot of financial strain um, on their back or a heavy workload. Um, and that might be just something you need to understand. Like if this person has told you in passing, hey, I'm really busy at work or my work is really stressful, stuff like that, please take that to heart. Um, they're letting you know that because they may, you know, be busy or might not be able to give up a much of their time because it's something that's very taxing on them. So I feel like if they did say that, please take that honestly. We have the devil here clarified by the four of pentacles. So this person may have a tendency to be a little possessive at times. Um, they could also be a little greedy. Uh, the four of pentacles is holding on to something and not wanting to let it go. Now it is also about having material wealth and the fours are typically like foundational cards. Um, so, but with it clarifying the devil, the devil's typically some toxic habits, toxic traits, possibly some addictions here for some of you. Um, but there's this feeling of like not wanting to let this go. Um, some of them, if they do have some sort of toxic addiction, they could not want to let that go either. So it might be something you need to understand about this person. The Empress showing up here, full full glory. <laughs> this person finds you so beautiful. They find you so attractive. And then the Nine of Pentacles here, um, again, they see your value. The Nine of Pentacles is, is independent energy. So you might have a tendency to be a little more independent. Um, we have the, the owl, an owl on this card. So I feel like this person, again, finds your brain very, like how you think is very, in, you're like an independent thinker. And they really appreciate that about you. And it actually makes you more beautiful. Like your thoughts, the way you see the world, the way you communicate the world is, is very appealing to this person. Um, they may have not met someone like you just yet. But there's also this feeling of like, I don't know if I can give this person what they need. Um, this person does have some of their own toxic traits, their own trauma responses that they need to still work on and work through. I don't know if they're willing to give those up just yet with, with the four of pentacles. So it feels like just something you need to keep in mind when you make decisions about this person in this relationship. Um, but there's definitely a lot of passion, a lot of feelings here for sure. And a lot of attraction and a lot of just, it's almost like, wow. Like, a, it's like a feeling of awe about you. But it's not like, it's like, you're not just beautiful to this person. The I, I don't know if I can explain that enough. Like, how much this person likes how your brain operates. Which is a freaking high compliment, in my opinion. Maybe I'm a nerd for that. I don't know. Um, I prefer substance over, <laughs> over looks. But looks are still important. Um, and this to this person, you have both, right? Uh, yeah. And I don't know if you've ever really, because it, again, if you're an extremely attractive person, I don't know if for you in the past, anyone's ever appreciated you for more than that. And this person really does get it. They really do see it.
there's some overachievers here too like where it's like you're always trying to like prove yourself like prove your worth and you're like no but yeah yeah it's great i'm pretty but there's more to me but this person wants you to know that they do see it they they definitely know that you're not just another pretty face kind of vibe But this person definitely has a soft spot in their heart for you with this Queen of Cups being our underlining energy. They got some passion, but they also have a massive soft spot for you. And they may have put you a little bit on a pedestal too, which is very complimentary, right? But it's not always the best thing, especially if you're dealing with someone that has any sort of toxic traits or even insecurities about themselves. And with the Four of Pentacles, this also could just be reading as massive insecurities on this person's part. So the higher they put you, which again is flattering, then their insecurities rear their ugly head because they put you so high on a pedestal that, you know, you really want someone that like almost views you as an equal or a little bit above. It's, it, it's not bad, but you don't want, you know, someone to feel so below because if they do have those toxic, not good enough traits, that ends up sabotaging things. So they need to work on that a bit. All right, let's pull some Oracle cards. Let's see, what do we have? What else do we need to know? How is this person thinking and feeling? What else do we need to know? Accept. May you receive what it is as it comes. So this person accepts you for who you are. Um, again, it's like, I accept that there's more to you than just the way you look. This person also may ex hope that you accept some sort of offer that they may have for you as well. Curious, may you be open and explore. This person is definitely very curious about you. They want to get to know more of you. Again, they've gotten this peek into this brilliant brain that you have. Um, and they, they, they're curious about it and they want to know more about that. Love, may you dive deep into the passions. We just lost one of our candles. All right, hold on, let me swap this out. No one's losing some flames on my watch, right? <laughs> Not in the middle of a reading anyways. I always have several going, so it's okay, but all right. Anywho, there's a lot of love this person feels for you. And it's almost like this person can't describe how beautiful you are. It's like watching a sunset and trying to fully describe that to somebody else, you know? And it's almost like every day you show up a little bit differently and there's just something a little more beautiful about you every time this person sees you as well. Just like a sunset is never the same. Um, I never get sick of sunsets. I love them, I love them. Okay, let's see. Ah! I almost just dropped this entire deck. Hold a second. Don't fall. All right. Let's use this deck. Let's see. Pile twos person. What else do we need to know about what they're thinking, feeling? Making a choice. So this person is at some sort of crossroads, making a choice. Maybe you're at a crossroads. Maybe there's like, I have to do this or I have to do that. Like some sort of choice going on here, which makes me think of like Gemini energy as well. Um, it's about choices, like the lover's card. Uh, so this person may be trying to make a choice. Uh, we have metamorphosis on the bottom of the deck. So um, transforming, evolving, this, this connection could be moving into the next level. It's transforming somehow. If they do have toxic traits and you already know that, this person could be trying to work through that and transform out of that. We have these two flamingos. I feel like those are important to somebody. Um, they're kind of making a heart here with their heads together. But I feel like flamingos are like a sign for somebody. I felt the need to point that out. Um, okay. Let's see. Pull one of these. What else do we need to know? The fox. Hmm. The fox can be, you know, a little sly energy, a little bit deceptive. 
they could feel that you're a little bit deceptive. I think this person has some deceptive, possibly some manipulative traits that you just need to keep in mind. Um, this again, these feel like trauma responses that this person hasn't quite worked through, may not realize is a problem, but you know, almost like uh, this is how I operate. So keep that in mind, pile two. Again, that might not be for all of you, but if you already kind of get this inkling that is there something, mm, there you go. Just because someone adores you and sees you, doesn't mean they're perfect. I need to, I felt the need to, to add that too. Friendly reminder, we have the gentleman coming out with that. So yeah, this, this might not be you that they see you as manipulative. Just know that this person is clever. Um, they also could be strategic. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. All right. Let's see, let's get some more insight to how this person's thinking and feeling. What does our reader need to know? Heart song, inner knowing, telepathy, intuition. So they definitely feel like there's a deep connection in your hearts. Um, there could be a musical connection. There was listening with these music notes right under here um, as well. So there's, there's some sort of musical connection here. I feel like that used to come up all the time in my readings and then it's like fallen away for a long time and then the past couple of readings it's just like music, music, music's everywhere again. It's kind of nice to see. Maybe some of you guys have come back <laughs> to watch me again. And here's that music stuff. All right. An apology, return forgiveness gifts. So there could be some sort of an apology owed here. Uh, this person may, if you guys did have some sort of split with that slicing energy there could be a need for forgiveness or gift or one to owe you some kind of apology um we also have clinging holding on obsessing watching so this person is feeling a little obsessed with you and they may watch your social media those kinds of things with that four pinnacles energy this person doesn't want to let go of you um but it's it's clarifying the devil so for some of you that may sound endearing but be mindful that energy is toxic so Take it or leave it. I'm just here to deliver. But let's move on to message cards. Uh, or not message cards. We're going to move on to our song cards. Most of these were um, suggested by viewers. If you want to suggest some, feel free to drop those in the comments. Um, I try to always keep adding to this. Uh, but with these songs, if you know them, awesome. If you don't, um, then and you feel the need to pick one of at least one of the songs and just look up the lyrics i mean if you want to listen cool listen but look up the lyrics there's going to be a message within the lyrics and you'll know if it's for you you'll definitely know okay we have perfect by ed sheeran we have gravity by sarah borellis i could probably butchering her last name sorry sarah um See what else we have. I have a flipper. I did not. Okay. That one flipped. Songs for pile two, please. We have Kit Soon by Gunship and Wonderful Tonight by Eric Clapton. So those are your songs. Let's move on to message cards before we end this. Just because that sunset spoke so much to me, I'm gonna use this sunset deck. Not the name of it, I got, most. everybody always asks where I get my message cards. Most of them I just get from Etsy. Um, there's a lot of really great independent decks and I always like to support small businesses. Um, as well as obviously I have other decks, but um, most of my message cards are from, from Etsy and if you wanna get some of your own, you can just type in love message oracle decks and i promise you you'll see tons so let's see our connection is cosmic and i love that i'm gonna move that one there <laughs> um you remind me of who i truly am we were married in another lifetime there also could be marriages in this connection with that card coming popped up. I'm not ready to face the truth. 
again, I talked about this person has some traits that they're not ready to quite fix just yet. I could never resist you. I realize we are connected beyond what I can explain. I have so many regrets. You loved me when I was unlovable. You are always, or you are so loved and will always be loved by me. I know you are thinking about me and it excites me. And will I ever see you again? I hate how I treated you. I wish you would give me a sign. Let's get another deck. Get some Hermit Tarot. Lorraine's deck. I'm going to move this to the side. Okay. If you guys don't watch the Hermit Tarot, you're missing out. Lorraine is amazing. All right. Let's see. You are my everything. I want you. Strength, ego. So there could be some Leo energy here. I want to get you drunk. And some ill intentions. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's the devil energy. Um... I worry about us a lot. Do you even see me that way? And let's pull one more card. Happiness is my priority. So pile two, this is your reading. I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some insight. Um, don't forget to like, comment, even if it's just an emoji or send this to someone that you think would enjoy this reading. That does really help me out and help my channel. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you a part of the channel. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. It is truly an honor and I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Bye guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile three. You guys picked the um, septarian heart here. And we have the Haunted House Tarot. I don't use this deck enough, and I'm pretty excited about using it in this reading. I typically pull it out around Halloween time, and then I, I forget that I have it. And I saw it today, and I felt like it was just begging to be used. So here we are uh, using the Haunted House Tarot today. Um, all right, we are going over how is your person currently thinking and feeling about you and the connection and anything else that needs to come up or come out. Um, you guys know that I'll share, even if they're one-offs, I always tell just in case it's always for somebody. So, um, always remember these are general readings. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. A lot of people watch these, so it's a good time to use your own discernment and intuition to know, um, if something is for you or for not, or not for you. Okay, so let's see. How is Pile Three's person thinking and feeling about them? How is Pile 3's person thinking and feeling? So we have the Chariot. Um, so Cancer showing up here. Um, this person, it's like I feel like I want to take you for a ride. I mean, obviously very literal from that person, but there's some old song that's playing in my head and I'm not even sure what it is. Um, we have the judgment card. They're kind of spooky. <laughs> uh, we have a knight of swords. A dark angel look there. We have a Knight of Wands. Let's go five across. Let me bring this down a little bit. I want to get the full picture before I, I start talking about this too much. We have a Seven of Swords. All right. Super interested to clarify that guy. All right. Let's see. We have a Four of Swords. 
We have a seven of wands. We have the star card. So Aquarius energy showing up. We have a king of pentacles. And okay, that's the seven of swords. The empress. Woo, though, okay. Things just, just took a nice little turn. Not a turn. This got, got really deep here. So overall energy that this person feels for you is this Ace of Cups. This is my I Love You card. This is deep emotional feelings. Um, I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if it's love for everybody just yet. Um, but some of you guys, it may be. But this is some pretty intense, deep emotions here. This person may be a little bit of afraid to deeply feel at times with this moon, this full moon being here, moon representing um, our intuition, but also sometimes our fears and the fear of being fully seen. And we do have the only other card here in the deck that has a full moon like this is that Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is a card of concealing, hiding a truth, holding information back, whatever that is. Now, it is in this deck uh, or in this reading, it's clarified by our Empress here. Now, the Empress can sometimes represent um, fertility or pregnancy. So that might be a one-off where someone's concealing the fact that they're involved with someone or there's children involved or something like that. However, with this whole kind of combination, I feel like more of you guys... Um, situation is this person is really concealing how much they really like you, how much they find you attractive. The Empress, when this shows up in a thinking feeling um, video, it's this person thinks you're on top of the world, right? And in this Empress card, she's kind of holding the whole light here. Um, it's, it's almost like moth to a flame, but I don't think this person wants you to know that they try to conceal the fact that you kind of hold them right in your hand. Um, again, cause there's some deep emotional feelings here that this person is feeling. They may be trying to work through that, maybe unsure of that. Um, also there, there's a sense of denial, uh, for some of them about like, no, I really don't feel that way. Kind of, kind of vibe here. Uh, so, but let's go this way. So we have this cherry energy. Now it's clarified by a four of swords. A four of swords is a card of contemplation. It's a card of inaction. So you have a card of forward momentum clarified by a, um, a card uh, of inaction. So this is movement and this is not. So some of you guys may be dealing with someone that's a little back and forth at times. It's like one step forward, two steps back kind of energy. Um, that also may be when this person gets in their head a bit, Again, we have, you know, this concealing of information. We have this moon that's kind of representing some fears here. And in this card, we very much, again, most of these are a little spooky because it's the Haunted House Tarot. We have all these hands poking up underneath this bed to try to grab this girl um, in this photo. So it's like, I want to move forward, but I, I'm a kind of afraid. So I feel like your person really wants you to understand that they do have fears. They have fears around forward momentum. They have fears maybe about where this is going. Um, and they're also afraid to lose control in situations. For some of them, I, I don't know if they particularly like being in relationships. If you're in a happy-go-lucky, easygoing, kind of chill relationship, this might not be your pile. I'm just saying that. Um, not that there are obviously a lot of feelings here, but this person is a little more hidden. They're a little more hidden from their self. Again, there's denial coming up here. Or it's like just not wanting you to know for whatever reason. So with judgment being here, Scorpio energy, this isn't technically the Scorpio card, but it's that resurrection energy. It's that coming back to life. Um, it is clarified by our seven of swords, which is a, our seven of wands, which is a card of persistence. So this could be for some of you, this could be not your first rodeo with this person, this go around, um, this first relationship with them. Um, 
honestly the way that this could be read like this person's fighting for this connection, fighting to keep this alive, but there almost feels like this person's like fights their emotions coming back. So I don't, I don't know what situation a lot of you guys are in that all this is coming up, but I'm hoping this makes sense. Um, cause it's just like almost someone like, I really, really like you. I really have feelings for you, but I don't actually want to have feelings for anyone. Like, ah, uh, and I don't want you to know, I don't want you to have the upper hand on me. Um, that kind of stuff. It's like, almost like get back, <laughs> get back with this passion. I feel it's like they almost like someone like denying, not only are they in denial about feelings, but then denying, like wanting to be involved, but yet they're drawn to it. It's like, again, like the moth to the flame kind of energy with this person. So it's like forward momentum. I got to pull back. Okay. Then we have a Knight of Swords clarified by our star card. So there's still, it's, I really love, it's like, what was I going to say? I really love that we kind of have this like kind of dark angel kind of vibe. So I think that this person, it's, it's like they have hope for themselves that they're not like damaged or that they can love, that they can have a healthy relationship. But I feel like this person self-sabotages a lot. But yet, underneath the surface, they're like, they're way more pure than they let on. They're way more hopeful. They're way more optimistic than they want to be perceived. This person reminds me of someone that wears a mask to keep themselves protected. Um... All right, so we have the Knight of Wands, which is a very passionate energy. It is clarified by our um, King of Pentacles. So this person, it, again, it's another just position. It's a card of wanting to come towards you. It's wanting to take action. It's wanting to, you know, our, our Knight of Wands can be a little bit of a player vibe sometimes. But below the surface, this person's actually as solid as can be. But it's like almost like I wanna I wanna look like I don't care that much. I wanna look like I I'm just doing what my own thing. But deep down I want something solid. I want something permanent. You know, those kinds of vibes. This person's a little bit of a conundrum. So I think a lot of you guys are probably shaking your head, like, yeah, they're confusing. But it's 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 their own like doing. But I don't know how intentional it is per se. I don't feel like this person's like trying to manipulate you it's just their own denial of feelings or own like again it's like a lack of control with this person so for some of them this could be childhood wounds that are stemming up you know, or bubbling up every time they are in contact with you it's like the feeling of again not having control and talking about those childhood wounds like i just noticed we have this person carrying this child here so it's like always trying to protect themselves from getting hurt, from danger, and, and that tends to overshadow a lot of things with this person. But again, your overall energy is very, very intense emotional fulfillment. But ones are also a new beginning. So for some of you, this could be a brand new connection, and you're just getting to know them. Just know that they're also getting to know themselves. Um, uh, some of them could, if you guys are, again, are having like some sort of resurrection, even though they're fighting it, there is a, there's this overall feeling of almost wanting to cleanse themselves in this love that they feel, in these feelings that they feel. Like we have hand, water washing over these hands, like almost wanting to wash their hands of, of their fears, wash their hands of the things that hold them back. Uh, we have a three of cups. So some of you may um, know this person through other friends. You may have been friends with this person. Um, there could be some third party situations here. Um, we have a five of pentacles right under that. So this person also could be afraid of, of kind of drowning in this. We do have this girl kind of drowning. We have the three of cups in the background, people celebrating, almost getting lost and caught up in this because they definitely have some sort of fear of abandonment. Again, that may stem from childhood. So they, it's like their defenses are up. Seven of Wands is a very defensive energy. Seven of Swords is a protection and hold concealing information in order to stay in control. Um, sometimes that's very sneaky energy. Sometimes it's strategic energy. Sometimes, you know, it's just someone not telling their full, their full hand or showing their full hand. And again, it's being clarified by this Empress card, this 
this card when it comes up in my feelings like someone finding you extremely beautiful extremely sexy extremely like nurturing all these beautiful things some of you guys maybe some of you have kids maybe this is what that the empress holding her belly kind of vibe is um i want to give a nod to uh taurus and libra here um the empress is ruled by venus venusian energy which um venus rules uh libra and taurus so um i wanted to give a nod to that as well so let's pull some oracle cards let's see what is else is going on with this person didn't want to do that let me shuffle it real quick what does our viewer need to know about how they're thinking and feeling slow and steady so this person may be you know dragging their heels again that two or one step forward two steps back it's because this person is unsure uh we do have in this picture you know, this figure is, is clutching their chest. It's like this person's always trying to protect their heart. So it's like, I open up to you and then I got to recoil because I'm afraid. So I guess the message there is just understanding that that's, that's a shortcoming on this person's end. It's not necessarily because of you, but you need to know that in case you don't want to deal with that, you know? You always have a say in these relationships, people. You know, I always want to remind people that you have more power than you give yourself credit for sometimes. That's not for everybody. That's definitely for somebody. A good reminder. Okay. One ring circus. So this person has a tendency to be very self-sufficient. That's why I was like, I don't think that this person really has been in a lot of relationships or they're not comfortable in a relationship. They tend to be a little more comfortable doing everything themselves. They may have um, be hyper self-reliant. Maybe some of you guys mirror that energy. Um, they, it's, it's because of so much disappointment in childhood, so much getting hurt, so much being abandoned. Uh, they just have a tendency, well, I'll just do it on my own. Or if I do things my own, again, this extreme self-reliance is a trauma response. Um, and it's how they protect themselves. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Expansive. May you connect to the whole. So this person feels a lot for you. Again, I think that they're in denial about some of it, but it's expansive. So there's there's a plethora. So as much as they may have feelings, you may also scare them. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you guys are dealing with an emotional avoidant. You know, it's everybody's favorite. We all have our own things, right? But um, so it's as wide as this is, this person pulls it all back in. They feel like, again, they feel the, the, they feel the joy, they feel the happiness, they feel the, you know, the love, the everything, but then they also feel the fear and uh, the needing to conceal and to hide and not be vulnerable. Heard. May your brave call be carried on the wind. So they do hear you. You may have pointed some of this out to this person. I may be describing this person and you're like, yes. Um heard there's also a part of them that wants to be heard they want to be understood you may understand them better than most you may see through their walls and their defenses and ultimately I feel like this person that that inner child is screaming to be heard screaming to be seen there's also some of them that really like the sound of your voice either spoken voice or singing voice or even like if you have a tendency to hum it's like I'm just hearing someone like, hmm, 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 hmm. like literally the way I'm saying, I'm seeing somebody like laying on someone's lap, like rubbing, running hands to their hair, humming. Um, so I don't know who out there that that image is or memory or experience is, but that all came into my head. But there's this feeling of like, there's a peacefulness. Like, I don't know if this person's never felt that level of peace before, that level of care, that level of like safety. But with that, the, the stark thing is like this person's mind kind of comes in and almost self-sabotages like, oh, you're not worth this or you, you need to protect yourself. Those kinds of vibes. Like, I feel like this person has a tendency to be their own worst enemy. Okay, let's see. What else do we got? How three's person. 
the sickle. So the sickle is about cutting things out. So some of you guys are maybe, you may be in some sort of separation with this person. You may have cut them out. Um, they may have ended this quickly. Again, it, it, if there was a moment where they got very vulnerable with you and then shortly after that, boop, cut you off, it's, it's a protection thing. If you guys do have a tendency to go around and around, it's like it goes great. It's like great and then shh, gone real good or real good, real fast. We have the bouquet. This is this is feelings. This is wanting to express things. This is wanting to date. This is wanting to share. Um, in the backgrounds of these cards, there's little faint words. The word joy is on there. Of course, I noticed that because that's my name. But yeah, this person wants to express themselves. It's like almost like they get to the point where they want to like say bring you flowers, but then they they just like ah no, you know. Hmm. Conundrum. All right, let's see. Let me use these cards. Let's get some more insight to this person's feelings currently. What are they feeling right now? What are they feeling right now? Very moment as pile three is watching this pile. What is this person feeling about them? Beauty, charming, graceful, luxurious, empress energy. This person sees you, they hear you, they think you're so beautiful. They could feel like the ugly duckling to your swan, the beauty and the beast kind of vibe here. Purifying, purge, healing, clean energy. So this person is trying to purify. They're trying to cleanse things. They could feel like you are very pure. Again, you're like this white swan to them. And I was talking about this person like washing, cleansing themselves, cleansing their hands. So they're just like trying to clean themselves from toxicity and allow things in. You could be the most, like, you could be very angelic to their, like, dark angel, you know? I have a feeling this person doesn't get why you like them. <laughs> They're also like, why would you like me? Like, I see myself as this, you know, mm, and here you are, this beautiful specimen of a person, you know? So we have fantasy. This person definitely daydreams about you. They imagine different scenarios. They have different fantasies about you. They could be having one right now. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's see one more. How's this person feeling about pile three right now? What was this? Vows. Wow. Commitment promises fidelity. We have distance here too. So there's some of you guys could be in some sort of separation or have a long distance relationship. Um, but this person does feel like they want to commit or they are committed to you. At least a part of them. Like the part that they allow. So there is a... Uh, a level of commitment here. Wanting to commit. Hmm. Okay, let's pull some song cards. So, as my normal, anyone who watches me all the time, same spiel. If you know the songs, cool, and they relate, awesome. If you don't know the songs and you feel compelled, at least pick one of them, look up the lyrics, or listen to the song, and there will be a message for you within the lyrics. So, let's see. Songs for Pile 3. We got, oh, we got three Libras by a perfect circle. So Libra energy showing up. Wish that you were here by Florence and the Machine. Now, I know there's lots of different wish you were here. Like there's a couple different songs uh, with that same title. So if a song ever comes up and a different song with the same title or artist relates to you, always just take that as a confirmation. So again, we have three Libras by a perfect circle. Wish you were here, Florence and the Machine. Interesting about the herd thing because three Libras is about not being seen and not being heard. Maybe this person's just scared to be seen and heard. Okay, we have Glycerine by Bush and then we have Shades of Love by Desi Valentine. So those are your four songs. If you feel compelled, pick one of them or you want to play along. <laughs> pick one and look up the lyrics. This one's very sad. I'll say that. Okay, um, let's get some message cards before we end this. What deck am I seeing in my head? I have not used this deck in a while. This one's interesting. So let's see what comes out. There's some good and harsh messages in this deck. So let's see. This one they're showing me. All right. I feel terrible for hurting you. 
for oh, I'm planning on reaching out to you. Someone's probably gonna get a text message like right after this reading. Um, I don't know what I want. That denial energy this person is showing. I feel like I had a flipper. I guess I didn't. Okay. One-sided relationship. Again, this person's just used to doing everything themselves, doing their own thing, this one ring circus kind of energy. I feel like I've ruined everything. Oh, we did have a flipper, okay. I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. You are always on my mind. I think the world of you again the person sees you as the empress you embody all of it like empress's mother earth energy that's everything that's beauty that's all that's all of it you know it's creation I dive in and out of relationships yeah this person is just I don't necessarily get it's a fear of commitment per se it's a fear of vulnerability and intimacy which i guess goes hand in hand with that but that's just more how this person feels um and then we have the you are the person of my dreams so you also may be haunting this person in their dreams with this haunted house tarot you may show up there but they definitely think that you you know you're it it's just they don't feel like it so Anywho, pile three, I think that's where we're going to end this. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share this with someone you think would um, enjoy this. Um, comment even on just an emoji. Uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can email me at ajourneyinlight at gmail.com. That's also in the description box below um, if you're interested in more information on a personal reading. As always, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. It is truly an honor, and I look forward to seeing you in a future reading. Bye, guys.